I'm going to talk again about the physical versus the energy being. And I'm going to use this board. I'm going to use this board. Okay. Now, as you know, everything, there's no such thing as time and space. So, but I have to use those words, otherwise you, you don't understand me. But if you were just somehow collapse all time and all space into a moment, that's what I call it. I don't know if that's what everybody else means by it, but that's what I call zero time, zero space. Everything collapses into nothing and everything all at once. But what I'm seeing is when it comes to energy, that same place, and this is zero time, and it's more like, I hate that raised vibration and lower vibration thing, because inevitably with, with, yeah, with humans, that means that higher, higher is better and lower is worse, which that's not true. I'd be happier with a, a sideways analogy. But you guys are just going to have to listen to me. Higher is not better. Energy is not better than physical. It is simply different, okay? It's just simply different. Like I put, I've got, I've got my goggles thing or change the channel. So if you put your channel and you vibrate it a certain way and you're in energy form, then here's these dots that I'm going to call resistance. I don't really want to call them physical points because when there's this much space in between them, it's more just resistance. And you could go flying through the all that is, and this is, we're, we're just going to say, okay, since you can't do the no time, no space thing, just expand it to infinite. Expand it to infinite. And when you have on the goggles or you're on the channel or you're vibrating at a higher vibration, then there's lots of room in between these things right here. Okay? Lots of space in between them. So in order to create, what you do is you go flying through these and you bend around them. Whoosh, 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 like this. Go whooshing. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And in that movement, you kind of grab hold of one of these things. You just pick one to grab hold of it. You kind of drag it along behind you and kind of make it long. And as you're dragging it along behind you, you can also make it expand. And you can make it swirl and do all kinds of cool things. And this is how you make, um, like, energy creations, like music and light things. And usually those are together because that's how you're going to do it. And all this is done very, 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 very fast. Very fast. Now, whenever you get further, and let's say that you... Lower your vibrations a little bit. Now you've got more, no, more dots, more dots, more dots, more dots, more dots. They're closer together. Now the same thing is true. You're still going to whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And you're going to decide, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to grab this one right here, and I'm going to grab this one right here, and I'm going to grab this one right here, and I'm going to grab this one right here. And again, you're going to grab them, and pull them, and expand them, and merge them and combine them. But see, you're going to do it slower. You're going to think of it as doing it slower because there's so many more. These are so much closer together, those dots are. Okay? Now, when you start getting into 3D, what happens is this dot is almost solid. You think those dots right there. See those dots like that? Okay, in 3D, that's how close those dots are, okay, that was like this. So now, in order to do the same kind of creationary process, which it is the same, it really is, say, take this circle right here and blow it up, and we're going to blow it up into this. Now, in order to do what I just did, you in, now this right here, that little part of infinite, Solid, 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 because you're on a lower vibration, because it's solid, solid, solid. In order to get this to spread out a little bit, you incorporate time-space. That is why time-space is involved with those really, really dense vibrations. 
is to give this some spread out room so you can still grab hold of this and this and this and this and this. Pull it along behind you, stretch it, twirl it, and create stuff with it. Now, if you really think about it, isn't that pretty much what you do with your life? Don't you start out with your life and you have an event and you choose this event and you don't choose that event. You choose to go to college or you don't go to college. You choose to get married or not get married. You choose to have kids or not have kids. And you take those events and you drag them along with you with every other event, day to day, big events, little events, and you drag them along and that creates your life. And that is what your life looks like. And it's all based on these little things you pick up along the way and then you drag along with you. So whether or not it, you are working in 3D, and you're dealing with linear time space within a human body, or if you're an energy being flying out there in the higher vibrations, dragging these things through what you would consider millions of miles, stretching them out with pure energy, is still the basic concept of creation, you see? Still the same basic concept of creation. As I've said before, guys, the only reason you respond so vehemently with this is because you are in a human skin suit. So this hurts if I break this bone like I did in this hand the other day. <laughs> that hurts if, if somebody spits on me, my ego gets involved and I get my feelings hurt. If you call me names, my ego gets hurt. It's only because you are in this physical skin suit that you're responding like that. If you were a fly on the wall, which is very much like you are if you're watching a movie, really good movie or really good play, you're watching from outside and you're watching something of interest on the screen or on the, on the stage, then you don't have that. I mean, you will respond a limited amount of way, but you don't respond completely at the person getting cussed at or run through with a blade, or shot with a gun, or whatever. You know, you're looking at it from the excitement of the, of the experience. Well, you watching it on a play, going to a really good play or a really good action movie, is the same thing that what your God selves, all the God selves are doing when they come down onto this planet. Only they're doing it as real as they can. Now, for all of you gamers with that are looking forward or interact with virtual reality, this will make sense, right? The more real it is, the more fun it is. Well, that's how you need to look at this game, is that this is just the most real virtual reality game ever. But it is still just a game. And when it's over, just like when the curtain comes down on the flaw, on the on the play, or you've lost your last life on the game, or the end credits roll on the movie. At the end of the day, you're going to walk away, and you're going to have memories of that experience. You're going to have memories of that, that uh, exciting experience. And the beings that came here, mostly the long-term humans that came here to play this game, are really in to this game. That's all. They're just really into it. And they're not into it because it's fun. Nobody comes here to have fun. They come here to have experience. And those are really different things. Really different things. Because experience can be very, very traumatic. It can be very exciting. It can be very like jumping out of the airplane to parachute for the first time. That's, that. you know, at the very first time, I can't imagine that that's probably going to be fun. It's probably going to be terror at first, jump out of that airplane, right? It's probably uh, climbing up, like I've said before, climbing up Mount Everest is not fun. Nobody does that for fun, but they do it for the experience. This life is for the experience. You're not, you don't need to learn anything. You don't need to help anybody unless you want the experience of helping people. You don't need to be helped unless you want the experience of being helped, okay? You don't need to learn anything because you're a god. You know everything already. You are in you put yourself in a position so that you've forgotten that you know everything so that you can have the experience of not remembering everything. Now, most star seeds, most star seeds have come here to help Gaia. So they're not the same 
game as the long-term humans. Although there have been some star seeds that now that they're here, they've gotten kind of attached to it. They kind of like the game and they will be back. But most of them will not. They will leave. But long-term humans, the ones that don't come back, there are a lot of them that are going to come back and keep doing this over and over. There's much more to the game than what you've seen already. Much more to the game than what you've seen. Okay? And a lot of them are going to go start their old new games and do it with a twist. It's going to be a little bit different. All right? Hopefully that will help a little bit in the creation. I keep trying to come up with ways to explain physicality versus energy because they're like they're really the same. You know, it all collapses into oneness. So I'm trying to explain that difference to make it easier for you guys. Hopefully that will help a little bit. All right? I'll talk to you later. Huge hugs. Bye-bye now.